Hello, I'm Jordia Benjamin, Merkin Senior Coordinator of Programs and Audience Engagement at Colby College Museum of Art. Welcome to our very first virtual Artful Movements. Artful Movements is a part of the museum's wellness initiative under the program Let Art Inspire. This program selects a work of art from our collection and we pair it with a yoga pose. Now, before we dive into the yoga portion of this program, let's first visit the artwork that inspired this month's theme, Strengthening Your Inner Calm. We look at the work of Martin Hartley, entitled Late Fall Maine. Martin Hartley was an American modernist painter known for his use of volumetric forms, rich colors, and bold lines. Hartley's depictions of landscapes, figures, and still lifes exude a reverence towards the natural world. Born Edmund Hartley in 1877 in Lewiston, Maine, he was the youngest of nine children to English parents. His birth mother died when he was eight, and his father remarried four years later to Martha Marston. Hartley would experience another maternal loss at the age of 14, with the death of his stepmother. A few years after her death, the family would move to Ohio, leaving Hartley behind in Maine to work at a shoe factory. These bleak occurrences led Hartley to recall his New England childhood as a time of painful loneliness, so much that in a letter to Alfred Stieglitz, he once described the New England accent as a sad recollection that rushed into my very flesh like sharpened knives. Hartley would later use Marsden as his first name in his early 20s, the maiden name of his late stepmother. In 1908, Hartley moved to an abandoned farm in Lovell, Maine. He considered the paintings he produced there as his first mature works, and they would also impress New York photographer and art promoter Alfred Stieglitz. In 1909, Stieglitz would arrange a one-man exhibition of Hartley's work at his 291 gallery, Late Fall, Maine, 1908. Its orange hues blending heavily with browns, Late Fall, Maine captures the fleeting moment between the wonders of high fall and the soon-to-be bare limbs of winter. Hartley's depiction of the waning harvest season echoes the diminishing social and economic status of the region around Lovell, where he was working at the time. There, Hartley joined a tradition of artists dating back to the early 19th century, who painted the White Mountains straddling New Hampshire and western Maine. By the first decade of the 20th century, however, the area's status as an artist destination and its major tourism industry were both in decline, having been eclipsed by regions elsewhere in the United States and abroad. With nature being the predominant subject in this painting, we connect this to the tree pose that will inspire our yoga session. The benefits of the tree pose are improving balance, strengthening core, calming and relaxing the mind. It can also improve posture, counteract the effects of sitting at a desk, boosting energy and fighting fatigue. The tree pose builds and strengthens the bodily core, alluding to the sturdy trunks of the trees in Maine, since they are able to withstand harsh winters. The painting conveys a sense of cool calmness, which is also encouraged by the tree pose. Now let's visit our partners at School Street Yoga, who will lead us in our yoga practice. Hello. Welcome, I'm Kathleen Haberstock, owner of School Street Yoga. And um, we're going to be doing some yoga together today and a little bit of meditation. So just first of all, find yourself a comfortable seat. You might sit on a pillow or a blanket. 
It can help to have your hips a little higher than your knees. And if you find that sitting on the ground is not working for you, absolutely sit in a chair. Just sit at the edge of the chair and make sure your spine is able to elongate. Feet firmly rooted to the ground if you're in a chair. If you're on the ground, just getting settled there, you might, everybody can just kind of roll your shoulders a little, roll your head a little. Take a deep breath in, big inhale, and let it go out the mouth. Just letting that go. Either close your eyes or gaze to the floor. So if you're feeling a little anxious these days, we've got a lot um, to be anxious about. So if you're feeling at all anxious, um, leave your eyes open and just gently gaze to the floor. You can soften your gaze or you can close your eyes and begin to get in touch with your breath. You've just seen some beautiful artwork and the fall in Maine, the beautiful trees that were painted. And just begin to picture a tree. It could be the tr painting you just saw. It could be an image of a tree that you love in real life, whatever it is. Um, just picture that tree as you begin to notice your inhale and your exhale. And as you continue to just focus on the breath, I'm gonna read you a poem. The wood is shining this morning, red, gold, and green. The leaves lie on the ground or fall or hang full of light in the air still. Perfect in its rise and in its fall, it takes the place it has been coming to forever. It has not hastened here or lagged. See how surely it has sought itself, its roots passing lordly through the earth. See how without confusion it is, all that it is, and how flawless its grace is. Running or walking, the way is the same. Be still, be still. That poem is called Grace by Wendell Berry. Be still. Continuing to deepen the breath, feel whatever parts of the legs are grounding into the earth, the sits bones, feel them like roots grounding down. Allow the spine to grow upward, like that strong tree growing upward, that trunk of the tree. And imagine yourself a very old tree, hundreds of years old that strong thick trunk growing upward, canopy of branches and leaves growing outward from the crown of the head. Continue to deepen the breath. And imagine on the inhale, you're drawing energy upward from the earth through the sits bones, through the parts of the legs that are grounding down, as if the roots are sucking in the energy from the earth, drawing it upward, up the spine to the crown of the head, and on the exhale, releasing it back down. And I'm gonna count a little bit. So exhale all the breath out. On your next inhale, Om one, om two, om three. Exhale, om one, om two, om three. Inhale, om one, om two, om three. Exhale, om one, om two, om three. Continuing that breath. You might lengthen it. But make the inhale and the exhale the same length. Samavritti, equal part breath.
you might begin to notice that little pause at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale. You can lengthen that pause for a moment. That strong silent place inside you. And then just begin to allow the spine to sway a little. Those large trunks of the trees sway a little in the wind. Certainly the branches sway in the wind, but even the trunks have a little bit of give to them. Bending, not breaking. And now we'll just begin to find a circle. So coming forward, and exhaling back, you might grab onto your legs or your knees. One more like that. Next time you come forward, reverse the circles. Go the opposite way. Next time you come forward, stay forward. You can walk your hands forward on the floor, forearms or hands down. Pulling, inhaling, arch the spine, exhale to round. A couple times like that. And then slowly walking yourself back up to center. Go ahead and place your hands on your knees and inhale, reach the heart up, lift the chin. Big inhale, exhale, round. Inhaling, cow pose, arching the spine, exhaling, round. One more like that. And then coming up to center, we're gonna find our way over. So. I'm wearing socks, it's a little chilly in here. You might take off your socks if you're wearing socks. And I made this practice fairly simple so that even if you just have a yoga mat or if you're even just on your floor, you'll be able to do it. So there's not a lot of props you need. So we'll come down onto our backs and we're gonna explore a little core strength. So you might lower down slowly. And once you reach the floor, just go ahead and hug your knees in, give them a squeeze, little rocking side to side. And then we'll place our feet flat to the floor and bring that right ankle over the left knee. And press the right thigh away from you for a moment. And then we're gonna hug that left thigh in and you can wrap your hands around the thigh. You can also put a strap around the thigh if the hands aren't reaching. Let's lift the left leg up and point and flex the foot. And then roll the ankle one way. And then roll the ankle the other way. And then bending the knee. Keeping that right foot flexed, you might press the, left, the right elbow into the right thigh. And then release that and lower the foot back to the ground, but keep that four shape of the legs. And now, hands can be behind the head. There are gonna be two options here. Lifting that left foot off the ground again, drawing left knee into the, towards the left shoulder, right knee away from you. This is already getting into the core. So you might stay right here, letting the legs work against each other. Or you might inhale here, and exhale, lift up and crunch. Inhaling down, exhaling up.
pressing head into hands. Once you've done about 10 of those, bring that left foot to the ground. Let your hands go and then just let the knee drop, the right knee drop towards the right. And then come up to center and let that right foot come to the floor, right knee points towards the ceiling. And then just a couple more times side to side. You're giving the sacrum a little massage, but you're also stretching out the psoas and the outer hip as you go side to side. Coming back up to center, uncross the legs, and we'll come to the other side. So left ankle across right knee. Press that left thigh away from you for a moment. And then lift the right foot, clasp hands around that thigh, flexing through the left foot. You could press left elbow into left thigh. A few breaths here. You could straighten the right leg, roll the ankle. And then bend that knee again. And then releasing that, bringing the foot back to the floor. Clasp the hands behind the head. And then lifting that knee again. So right knee towards right um, shoulder. And the left knee is moving away from you. You could stay right here. Or you could inhale here and exhale, start to pulse. About 10 of those. And then lower down and let the hands go and bring the foot back to the floor. And you'll just begin that little rocking side to side, coming to the outer edge of that right foot. Bring the left foot to the floor, left knee towards the ceiling. Inhale it up to center. And then the other side, left knee comes towards the floor. And just a couple of times like that, you can move quickly or slowly, breathing into the stretch if you like, or moving on each breath whichever feels better to you. Coming back up to center, uncross the legs, give the knees a squeeze. It feels nice on the back, a little rocking side to side. And then we're just gonna roll over onto the belly. So finding your way over, chin to the floor, clasp the hands behind the back, roll the shoulders up towards one another, down the back, reach knuckles back towards the feet, and then maybe lift the feet. Very strengthening to the core. Breathing here. Lower down, release, turn the cheek to the side, just let that go. And then bring your fingertips off the mat, elbows towards the ceiling. Turn your head to center again. On an inhale, lift up, gecko pose. Exhale to lower. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. One more like that. When you're next up, turn your head to one side and to center, and then to the other side, and then to center, and then come back down. Tucking the toes, we'll bring our hands to either side of the chest. And you can either press up to hands and knees, or you can press up through plank pose, finding some strength there. 
and then we'll bring our knees to the ground and we're going to bring forearms to the ground. We're going to find a little bit of a strength builder here. Clasping the hands, you can tuck that bottom pinky in so the pinkies are next to each other. Bringing hands to the ground, elbows are under shoulders, and then reach through both feet so you're in a plank pose. And then we'll walk our feet in to down dog, forearm down dog. Chin forward on an inhale, exhale it back. Dropping the knees wide, big toes to touch. Let yourself rest in a wide knee child's pose. Deepen the breath. Let's take three big breaths here. Big inhale through the nose. Let it go out the mouth. One more like that. Walking your hands in, finding your way back to a seat. We'll bring our feet flat to the floor. Clasp the hands behind the knees, behind the, behind the thighs, and then lift the legs. Boat pose, Navasana. Maybe let the arms go. Breathing here. and then rolling over the hands and knees. Couple of cat cows here, inhale, heart forward, exhale, round through the spine. And then tuck the toes, hovering the knees off the ground. And then slowly begin to reach hips back towards the heels and lift the knees, straightening the legs, bending one knee, bending the other. And we'll just begin to walk that forward till you're in a forward fold. Knees can be bent. Let's all bend the knees for a moment. Ribs against thighs and a little sway to the spine. And then begin to slowly roll it up, one vertebra at a time. Head is the very last to arrive till you're all the way standing. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale them down the back. Let's do that two more times. Once more. Now right from here, feel the strength of the mountain. Feel your feet planted into the earth. Just look down and see that the outer edges of your feet are parallel with the outer edges of your mat. Spread the toes and then let those toes go. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive over the legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, palms through heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach, arms up. Little back bend. Exhale, dive over the legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach to the sky, look to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more like that. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, dive. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause for a moment. Notice the breath. So eyes could be closed or gaze to the floor. Feel the beating of your heart beneath your thumbs. And again, maybe noticing that little space at the bottom of the inhale, or the top of the inhale, and the bottom of the exhale. Just noticing that pause. A place of strength, a place of quiet within you. It's always there, even in these challenging times. You can tap into that space of strength and quiet. And then slowly let the eyes open. Now pressing palm against palm, feel the midline. Feel the core. We've worked it out a little today. Feel that line running up the center of the body, right through the crown of the head. And then let the arms go. So in tree pose, we're going to be playing with balance. And what is so wonderful about this pose is that it's hard not to, uh, it sort of forces you into some inner calm in order to do the pose, because it's hard to think about much else when you're balancing. You fall over if you start to think about too much, right? So it kind of, it kind of forces you into some calm, right? Which can be a great thing. And I find I also, and more balanced standing on two feet afterwards. After I do a balance pose, I feel more grounded. So you'll see what you feel. We'll start, we're gonna actually start small with this pose. So ground into that left foot and turn the right toes out. And this is already tree, you're in tree. Right toes on the ground, right heel on the left ankle. This is tree. So you could stay right here. You could also put the foot below the knee. I don't recommend having it right on the knee, so below the knee or above the knee. So doing what's right for you. Now, if you're looking at me, find something that is not moving, which will not be a person, so it will not be me. Find a spot on the floor or the wall in front of you. And if you feel a little sway, great. You're strengthening your ankle and then lift the arms and breathe. Feel that strength, feel that quiet strength within you, but be sure to breathe. And then hands to heart center and knee forward and step it down. And just walk it out, shake it a little, let it go, whatever happened. If you fall out, just come back in. Grounding through that right foot. Turn the left foot out, and we're already in tree. You can stay right here, playing with balance, right? You can bring the foot a little higher below the knee, or you can bring the foot up to the inner thigh, but wherever it's at, pressing foot and leg into each other, hand into hand, looking at a point that is not moving, and then maybe grow the branches. Feel the strength of the tree. Roots grounding down, crown of head, arms reaching up. That little sway, we bend but we don't break. And breathe. and hands to heart center, and knee forward, and step it down, and just letting it go. We'll sway the hips a little. And there's just a little dance move I've been loving, so I'm just gonna offer it to you if you want a little more movement right now. So we'll take the feet a little wide, and just do a few squats here. So feeling that strength of the legs, feeling the Feet grounding down even more, both firmly planted into the earth. Just 
just a couple more squats. And now, just having a little fun, we're going to reach the arms up next time we come up. And then exhale, lower them down. And inhale, lift to the right. Left toe can point. Exhale down. Inhale, lift to the left. Exhale down. Coming back to center. Just one more time coming down. Feeling the strength of those legs in the squat. And then inhale, rise up. Big inhale. Exhale, pull hands to heart center. Step the feet in. Feel the firmness of the feet again into the earth. Big inhale. Big exhale. We're going to come back down to a seat. So finding your comfortable seat, getting a pillow set up, if that's helpful. We're going to end with a little meditation. So again, just finding your way down, either to a chair or to the floor. Breathing here, centering yourself. We're going to do a little grounding breath to switch gears. So take your peace fingers of your dominant hand and tuck them in. Bring ring finger pinky and thumb to either side of the nose. So we're taking the peace fingers in, it's like a little lobster claw, and then taking fingers and thumb to either side of the nose. Close off the right nostril, inhale left. Close off the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Continuing on your own, switching after the inhale, and you might pause for a moment. Again, finding that pause at the top of the inhale before you exhale on the other side. Next time you're exhaling through the left nostril, no rush to get there, but just let it go. Stay inward. I find this time, even with everything that's going on in the world, it actually can be an easier time to go inward because there's so many distractions that have been taken away. Yes, we have the internet, which is how we're connecting now. Yes, we have our phones and Netflix, but a lot of the distractions have been taken away and pared down. And a lot of what we thought we needed, we, we're realizing we don't actually need. So it's kind of simplified life in some ways. So just allow yourself to go inward now. I'm gonna read you one more poem. Continue to focus on the breath as I read you Clearing by Martha Postlewaite. Do not try to save the whole world or do anything grandiose. Instead, create a clearing in the, the dense forest of your life and wait there patiently until the song that is your life falls into your own cupped hands and you recognize and greet it. Only then will you know how to give yourself to this world so worth of rescue.
Make a clearing in the dense forest of your life. Listening to your song will fall into your cupped hands. So just taking that time, noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. Listening to the song of your own heart for a few moments. Thoughts will come across your mind like clouds moving across the blue sky. Just see if you can allow those thoughts to move across the mind without grabbing onto them. You could label them thinking and then draw your focus back to the breath. Letting that go on your next exhale. Big inhale through the nose. Let it go out the mouth. You're welcome to keep meditating. You're also welcome to come down into a Shavasana. But we'll end our time here together. So namaste. And thank you so much for joining. And um, hope to see you. I'll be seeing you again um, very soon. Okay. Wow. I hope you feel rejuvenated and alive. Thank you for participating in today's Artful Movements. This is just one of the many virtual programs we're offering to you during this time. So please visit us at colby.edu forward slash museum. And from our museum home to yours, We'll see you next month.